I was inside having lunch when I heard a knock at the door, and it was the Agco delivery truck. And he told me he had the Gleaner S98 I had purchased outside for delivery. So I thought we could check it out. I present to you the Gleaner S98 running inside FS19. So I've done a lot of work to pull the Gleaner into 19. When I first pulled the model in, it was glowing. It had a lot of issues with the specular settings, the way the model was reacting to the lighting. So I've you done some things. I've also put new 19 tracks on it and adjusted uh, the material so that it looks good inside 19 without having to put in all new parts. So we'll actually take it off the truck here. I've also fixed the audio so that the audio for it running is working right now. I've also set up all the different wheel configurations and we'll take a look at those in the menu. But let's fire it up and drive it off the truck. So that's what it sounds like starting up right now. Inside it's still pretty plain. It needs a lot of work. The steering wheel doesn't turn. but. Let's go ahead and drive it off the trailer. And we'll actually just drive it down here to the farm. One of the things that I want to do is I want it to be able to fold. And the bin on the top is actually part of the body model. So it's going to have to be a pulled apart to make that happen. And then we can have it actually fold and uh, have folding animations once I'm able to pull it apart. We can pull this down here and we'll turn it around getting ready to back it in so I can keep working on it. I thought I would make this a multi-series set as I convert this over so you guys can be part of the process. I know a lot of you are very interested in this harvester and so I wanted to make it a little more interactive. So that's what it sounds like shutting down. The hazard light works, but none of the lights work. So the next step for me is going to be to work the bit, the folding and the bin, as well as the windows, and get that working. It doesn't have the header attaching right now. It doesn't harvest, but the harvester itself is fully functioning right now. And so I just need to take it to the next level there. So I mentioned that I also have done the wheel settings. So you've got four different wheel settings for the S98 right now that I've added for 19. So if we jump in here, this is the crawler version that we have right now. We just unloaded from the Agco dealership. If we bump over one, we get standard. You'll notice that the price drops. So the crawler by default is 372k. I dropped the cost from what it costs in 17 because there's some used S98s now that uh, are available anywhere from 300 to 300 plus in pricing. So now is the standard. Next you have broad and you'll notice when you select I have the ladder auto adjusting for broad and there's what broad looks like. You also have twin as well as well. So I've added twin tires to it. And we can actually lease this one and look at it. So this is what the S98 looks like with the twin tires and we can actually take it for a little drive here. I really like the look of this. It's coming along quite nicely. Also you'll notice the character positioning needs some work. And I mentioned the steering wheel doesn't turn. My next step is going to be to work the bin, the folding, 
and the lights and I'll probably do an update with that and then after that I'm going to need to work all the scripts to make it actually harvest and pull in the headers and do that work. Anyway, I'm really excited about the progress that I'm making and how it's looking in 19. I'm going to be releasing this to my subscribers in the community first as soon as I have it done. So those of you who are interested in it, definitely subscribe, definitely follow me. I'm going to be releasing it as soon as I have it ready and there's no bugs. Notice the tires are 19 and you dimmed. As well as I fixed the fan. The fan was all one material. I pulled it apart and you dimmed it. So, again, uh, my only platform for social is YouTube. That's how I keep up with everybody in the community. If you have any feedback, definitely let me know. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.